Richmond, um, Lieutenant Governor Brad Owen. Thank you, uh, Jim. Jim's done a great job over the years in, in helping us build this. As a matter of fact, uh, we had a, a, a you know, great success in, in, in the last year when we had the opportunity to uh, secure a Gates grant. And that, that Gates grant um, was a multi-million dollar grant uh, for mentoring. And the thing that that Gates grant is going to do is not only provide the opportunity to provide more mentors for kids around the state, that's been, uh, much of it's been awarded out to different uh, organizations that are involved in mentoring, uh, but it will also do an assessment on what works, what works best, and so that we will all be able to learn from it and then, and then maybe make some changes or other people do what you're doing in order to make it better. Now, I, I can see how important this is to all of you because you had to walk by the House of Chocolates to get here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here, not there. So clearly, it's important. Um, but, but working with kids is one of the more, most important initiatives that we have in, in my office. We have a theme in my office that, that is helping kids grow up healthy and safe communities with opportunity. And you really can't have uh, uh, safe uh, communities with opportunity without providing young people with mentors, many of the young people with mentors. And the Catholic Family Services Foster Care to College Program is one that is really close to my heart. I mean, one that really uh, is extremely important. Um, it's a very un underserved group of young people, a very needy group of, of young people. When you look at the statistics, you know how needy it is. And by the way, just as a little side to that, on Monday, because we've been looking at this for a couple of years in the state and trying to do, start doing something about it a couple of years ago, and under when Governor Locke was in, the, in office, uh, they started a golf tournament. And that golf tournament is on Monday. It's been carried over to Governor Gregoire's mm -hmm. uh, administration. And it is specifically for raising money for scholarships for kids in foster care. So I suspect that between, you know, the Casey Family Programs, uh, the Children's Administration, College Success, and the College Success Foundation, the Higher Education Coordinating Board, OSBI, and Treehouse, somewhere in there, some of that money is coming in there from the golf tournament to support to support that. You know that. Then. Okay, very good. Um, and you know, expanding educational opportunities to foster youth and helping them succeed in school, complete high school to start with and prepare them for college is so impo important. The statistics uh, on these kids is just a heartbreak. Seven out of the ten foster youth will not even graduate from high school. Won't even graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. And those who do graduate, only 25% will enroll in college. And you know, and, and the one thing that, we, that I think we need to look at beyond that too, as just a little, again, a little side note is, what about those that may not have the academic uh, capacity to go on to college? We still need to look at other ways to help them move on to just plant the seed there because there's other opportunities out there for those kids that uh, that aren't able to go to college we still need to help them be successful uh, in life um, so we're so fortunate to have uh, Catholic community uh, services family family services uh, do this and it's really an inspiration and, and fits right in with what we're doing in the state and others are doing in order to to meet this tremendous need so I want to thank you all for being a part of that and, and just my plug that I give every time, and they're probably tired of hearing it, but mentoring works. And how do we know that mentoring works? Because research has been done in the past, and I'm just going to mention one of those, it's called the resiliency model. And the resiliency model has uh, looked at kids who um, have had a lot of difficult things in their lives. And if, if, if foster kids aren't those, I don't know who are, but they've looked at them, and they said, well, you have these kids in, in this group that succeeded, and these that didn't. Why did these succeed? What are the common denominators of those that succeeded? And there's three that I like to point out. They are care and support by at least one person. I think that's called mentoring. Mm -hmm. There are uh, given high expectations. I mean, we can put the bar here, we can put the bar here. We put it here and we give them a little push. That's where they're going. That's what they're going to be. And then the opportunity to contribute meaningfully to their social environment. So get them involved in the positive mm -hmm. things that you do for the community because it helps create self-esteem, self-worth, and it helps them survive. Those are three common denominators that we find uh, in kids that succeed with negative factors in their life. So with that, we know mentoring works, and this is what you folks are doing, and this is why you will be successful, and we thank you for that. Now, we're very proud to have partnered uh, with Bank of America. They have been just a tremendous uh, supporter of mentoring across the state of Washington, and Kurt and I were together last year and presenting a couple, uh, um, a couple checks and things, and I know that that's.
that's far more important than me standing up here speaking to you about it. So I'm going to bring Kurt up, who will is more responsible for providing <laughs> the, uh, the, the, um, the check uh, for the work that you do. Kurt Walsdorf is the market president of the Bank of America for Eastern Washington. And thank you very much for being here and doing this. It's the, it's the So honored to be here to help everyone celebrate this today.